Okay, okay, before we start talking about the horde mode, I've just tested a lot of stuff about side chaining and compression because I realized that while I was in combat, my audio of my voice got turned down and the in game audio stayed the, same, stayed the same. And I actually wanted this to be the other way around. I wanted the in game audio to come up. The in game audio to come down and my voice staying the same level so I did side chain compression the wrong way and the next two Outrider videos will probably be more focused on this so other people don't do the same mistake but yeah let's talk about horde modes in this game while I ran through, run through the end game expedition that's way too difficult for me anyways did I just not hit a single shot on him? That's insane. Kings, fighters have already set up camp. It is, yeah, yeah. This is gonna be a difficult start for me. Let's just get the right gun out so I can get the job done. And stop, oh, sorry bros. And let's talk about the horde mode without getting too distracted. Let me take my headset off so I can actually focus on talking and not so much on the in-game stuff. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I've seen people write a lot about wanting a horde mode in this game and there are two big ways they can do this and implement this which are two different horde modes that would fit perfectly into the game either the Nazi zombie horde mode which is from Call of Duty which is like endless waves of monsters or creatures coming at you works probably the best with creatures and the second one would be more so of the killing floor horde mode which would work good with insertions or packs barrel packs and then an end boss and uh, at the end that's pretty much the two ways modes you can face the world work would work pretty good in this game like for example the killing floor mode with the insurgents i hope that's what they are actually called come on let me charge him really my charge doesn't work in the last two couple of dice or since the update my charge is worthless yeah you have 10 waves of enemies that get stronger after each wave and after that, you face the boss, god damn you. You face the boss, like for example, Commander Eshrigal would be a perfect boss to face at the end. You have a map set up similar like that, more around. I mean, if you played Killing Floor, you know what I mean. I also have Killing Floor content on my channel. I've played a lot of Killing Floor and Nazi Zombies, both the first things. I don't want to go down there, let's just let him just come up to me. God damn it. Mm. Let's just... Come on, dude. Come on. Here you go. Good job. Good job. Good job. So, both, are, both of those things would work great with the game. Commander Ashley guys, the last boss. You have 10 ways to face her. And after you beat her, you get your loot, yeah. just like you do in the divisions. That's pretty much the whole thing. Not much else you need to do there for the end game. So, additionally to additions, you also get this stuff, the horde modes in different ones. A different map path they can actually recycle if you want to but definitely would be a lot of maps that would fitly fitly fit into it very nicely for example this city for example this one right here has a good setup already that would fit really well for that too oh there's another boss here let me get out of here let me start out of here a little bit thank you 
so that would be a good first concept though. That the dog got. Because quite frankly, a horde mode has a lot of replayability that you can use for yourself. Like I said, I have 100 and 150 hours in killing for one. Half of that probably in killing for two. So you can play around with that a lot. And since it's multiplayer, it does work nicely. And I feel like those two zombie modes kind of does would work the best with Outriders. The Nazi zombie mode would work perfectly, perfectly with monsters. While the Killing Cross down mode would work more so with guys who eat at you. Of course you can mix them up, you can have both of them, but those things would work perfect in the game. Okay, we already have beaten the first part of this map, and that was quick. I don't quite remember this map that much, but it doesn't seem that this is good so far. So far. Famous last words. I'm kinda sick and tired of expeditions right now. I've played through them so many times that it's just got ne unnecessary. I remember now this map. I did not beat this last time I tried to play it. The last boss killed me in here. And I feel like they need a lot of variety. And I don't feel like they're gonna bring us any free content anytime soon. Soon. Yeah. What I think they would do, what would be best for them business wise, of course, we all want new free content and more and more and more which is not that realistic. I feel like what they are going to do is give us another DLC and that will be more so a end game DLC with more trials, with more expeditions and hopefully fourth mode. Why? Because that would fit the game perfectly. Fourth mode a lot. This right here is like a fourth mode right now. This monster throwing all and at me over and over again. I did pretty much hit that already with Eye of the Storm. If you can work down the obelisk in Eye of the Storm, you pretty much are getting a horde mode. In its own right, Eye of the Storm is a horde mode. Obelisks are like a horde mode. It's like not that difficult I feel like to implement that into the, the game leading to the monument that that's thing right I here that's a horde mode must be a way to activate it uh, they could work obelisk horde modes in there if they feel like it i'm not a big fan of those the others but yeah that's pretty much what they can do and easily implement like you activate new hordes of enemies to the obelisk. We kinda had one room of that in entire grata. That's the first right room entire grata, don't know what it's called, but that's very much what a horde mode would look like. With random enemies, or not quite that random enemies, if it's actually the killing flow system, if it's a modern Nazi zombie system, it would be waves and different bosses thrown in there from time to time which also would work a horde mode would be easy to implement which would be very real realistic for the game what also a lot of people have wished for and will be wishing for for the future is trials like Taya Grata with randomized rooms in it which they would be definitely capable of doing. Um, Remnant from the Ashes has a similar system to it, where they just throw from time to time a little bit different enemies at you. And 
as much of a high quality as the DLC was World Slayer, it still doesn't give you much more end game content and that's really much what people want and have hope for that you can grind more in this game. The apocalypse tiers are cool, definitely. Then there are a lot of enemies here. That's definitely something cool and keeps you busy but still there ain't much new stuff to actually level up with. Okay. I need to be careful a little bit. This is up to all two gear levels higher than my gear. Yes, that tells you how much easier the game has gotten. But I can still survive in there. Like seriously, my what's what gear? My, what level is my gun? 51, and I get 53 or something. Of okay, I haven't gotten anything new, but I feel like 53 is what I'm getting right now. I should be getting. This should be here. Yeah, 53. So two gear levels lower. Oh boy. That's what I'm getting. 53 is what I'm getting when I beat this and I'm at 51 with most of this in dust. And so far I've played side quests, Monster Hunter quests and a little bit of expeditions. I don't want to play through the big trial again because this takes just too much time. I mean, nothing can be hard my modes also take a bunch of time because I've played like nothing can be maps like for two to five to four hours and it's just a big endless grind so you get too tired and say okay I'm done running circles a whole day that's very much enough from the stuff but it keeps you busy and it's kind of rewarding and you can put in a leaderboard of how far you made it and that's an easy to implement game mode which they have similar stuff to already with Eye of the Storm. I'm running circles with my speech here. I feel like the next DLC they're gonna bring is gonna be an endgame DLC anyways. Because they've written themselves into a, into a corner of what they can do and will do. So there's not much left, so I guess they're gonna bring an endgame DLC till they are gonna bring out Outriders 2 to keep people a little bit busy till Outriders 2 comes out. That's seemingly the direction they're going. I don't think they're gonna bring you another story DLC. I feel like the story was a little bit rough through. So the next thing that's gonna happen is more trials, more end-game expeditions. And God, I hope they bring, I hope they bring what most, it would be the most simplest thing to implement. Recycle maps, and that's pretty much it. I'm a big fan of killing from Nazi Zombies. I like Nazi Zombies more than the normal Call of Duty game mode, to be honest. It's just... Playing against players can be a little bit exhausting in this, in a lot of games, especially because it brings cheating into the games more so often than not. Gates open. And we all hate cheaters. We do. Whoa. I don't know Back how much they're down. gonna go the destiny direction of not making a. Outriders 2 and just giving additional content for this one, which also is a possibility. Trial of Kaya Grata seems a lot like an um, endgame destiny raid, a little bit easier. Definitely a lot easier to be honest. The destiny endgame raids were difficult as hell in my opinion. And I had a hard time beating them when I was playing destiny which are played through Destiny 1 and then through the first DLC where they introduced the big raid with the stealth part which was taking a lot of trials to actually beat that once and only beat it once and with Destiny 
two, they had one big end raid in the main story, which I could say is similar, similar, similar to Eye of the Storm, then this is a gangbang, which is similar to Eye of the Storm, which for me Eye of the Storm is still really difficult, even though I had that one trial run with not cheaters, which just overpowered people who beat them in 5 seconds and plus. But for me, if I solo that again, it definitely will be difficult as all hell. So, I'm still kind of scared a little bit of Outriders Eye of the Storm and Raid. Because I know it's just gonna be difficult for me if I single that, even though I'm I'm strong right now and I still can try that again, which is definitely gonna be something I'm gonna try again. To see if I actually can beat it this time and not play two hours of Nazi zombies in there. But yeah, that's that's the way they could go, they could go the destiny way and milk DLCs for this game which could be profitable. Might be the cheapest way for them anyways. Recycle bosses, recycle maps, and just play through and let people play through that and let people farm because it's just the cheaper way for them to making a whole story with voice actors because monsters don't need voice actors. That's why well, horde mode would be pretty cheap for them and realistic. Because especially if they focus on monsters and creatures. They don't need voice actors. They don't need special characters that are interesting. Which they haven't struggled with anyway. They are characters in their campaigns are pretty interesting. And exciting. They have good storytelling and writing, they have that. That's not the big problem with Outriders, that they don't get good, strong new characters in there. But it's just, just cheaper that way. Board modes seem to be the cheapest thing and the most realistic at the same time. So that's why I think they are to be investing in that in the future. It just makes sense in my opinion. So wrapping up. Stop then. Stop throwing those things at me. Last time I tried this I did not survive. I did die here in this part. As soon as the mosquito dropped out, it was over for me. This is a difficult level to beat the last boss. Just the round, stop damn you dude. Stop trying to throw a freeze at me. If you do I don't know if I should kill him. Just focus on those two. Oh, he's doing the attack that I hate again. Okay. I mean, we could do both, the killing floor method and the nothing on the method. The killing floor method for guys or enemies who shoot guns at you. And the other method for guys or for the monsters. I feel like they could do multiple things with that, they would have great success. Oh, he actually got me. Look at that. Cool for you, cool for you. There's another wave coming that I'm kind of scared of. And I thought, yes I can. Oh boy. Okay, I did not feel anything right. Just wasted ammo. Okay, this gun is perfect for those guys. How the hell did you freeze me through that? That's insane. I, oh, I right now 
definitely would want more content for this game. Browse with ran random rooms seem a really pretty good idea. Oh damn, yep, mosquitoes are here. Mosquitoes are here. Insane how he throws me here again. Just stand in the corner and get rid of all the mosquitoes. Oh, what the hell was that? Mosquito killing. No. I don't like this corner anymore. Get me out of here. So the enemy combination they're throwing at me right here is a, oh, okay. This is a pretty difficult enemy combination. I'm getting a lot of headshots with him. That's good, he's almost dead. Yeah, that's definitely where I died last time on Blade this. Because those enemies they're throwing at me right here are just too difficult to take. That would be a good late wave for with zombie mode, monster mode. I feel like I killed the big boss. Let's just get rid of Alpha Dark Pomos. As I'm getting tired already because I recorded this video again because I ruined my side training. Oh, my campaign probably was weird as hell because I messed up my side training that much, my German let's play. Can't wait till I figured out oh, I beat it. Can't wait till I figured everything out. And Thiago, do not have to clear. mess with audio block. again. And I did a lot of audio tests and checking in the past. For the time being. And I still got audio problems. That's but that's the problem with having again. low views. There aren't many people here around. You're to still tell alive. you Clearly that something not. doesn't work out right. It would be better with streaming. Yeah, people would tell me more so and more quickly that something doesn't work right with my setup. Show your face. Okay, what's the goal thing I just got? Yeah, that's why expeditions are worthless at the moment because you don't get apocalypse gear that often and frequently. That's why I rather play through the main campaign and soft side quests. Soft side quest, not the hard ones, though the hard ones are too hard. This makes sense. A lot, a lot of sense, yeah. Yeah. I'm probably gonna talk more about what they're probably gonna do in the future with this game. But I feel like the easiest thing they can implement into the end game next to the expeditions. The next to the trials would be a horde mode, let's just call it horde mode expeditions, where they throw in more landing pods, but those landing pods are actually disguised as horde modes. Oh god, this place. This was difficult as all how. Front line. Like the eye of the storm, which is also, in my opinion, a horde mode. That would be the easiest thing for them for the future, which is gonna be a DLC in probably half a year again. I'd rather this end game they're gonna call the DLC the next one. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. I hope my audio works this time so I can actually go work out because god damn it I've recorded this video twice. And the first one was way better, like always, when I record something twice and again. Because I'm already mad. Mad. The right one is better, right? Yeah, who cares? Who cares? This video is over anyways. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know how many people will see this. But I know everybody will agree. A horde mode would be perfect for this game. To sum it up. Peace out.